Okay, I'm going to walk you through how to create your own design using iWeb. Um, the site that we're going to be doing is this developer site that I, I have done. I'm going to show you how to set up the, the navigation and just generally how to, to do a quick layout. Now to save some time, I've already created the pages uh, with the content just because I'm, I'm limited to about 15 minutes with YouTube. So I'm going to create a new page here, and I'm just going to pick a blank white template. And I'm just going to drag this up here so it's up here at the top. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on page, and I'm going to tell it to, I'm going to disable the page navigation menu, and include page in navigation menu. The second thing I'm going to do here is change the content width to 950 and the height to 807 and I'm going to do no footer because I'm not using a footer in this particular design. Uh, the page background which is the body here I'm going to tell it that I want this red color and the browser background which is the outside I'm going to tell it that I want this green color. Now that could be an image, that could be whatever. I'm going to delete these elements that were on that page because I don't want those. And the other thing that I've done is I've taken a screenshot just to speed this up a little bit so I can just kind of go through the, the setting up the page. Now obviously this isn't the correct size, but if I come over here to the ruler and the inspector which is the metrics tab, if I click on original size that'll take it to the size that it's supposed to be. Get that little center line when that's centered up. I've also in Photoshop created uh, these little text deals just to let me know what the sizes were to, to go ahead and speed this up. I'm going to start by creating a box that's in this uh, shapes panel down here and I'm going to start with this text box here first so what I'm going to do is enter that number which is 680 pixels by 476 pixels and then I'm going to come over here to the graphic tab and I'm going to turn off the line because I'm not using the line and then if I click on this color box here this little magnifying glass up in the corner is actually a color picker and I can pick that color. So I'm going to close this and just go ahead and drag this over and line that up. I'm going to do the same thing for these other boxes that I have labeled here. I'm going to copy that and paste that so I don't have to go and change the line again. I'm going to go ahead and do this brown one next and close that. And if I click on the ruler, I can just enter the number, which is 950 by 10. And that'll snap. Once again, get the center line. Copy paste. This one here at the bottom is 13. If I click on this, I can change the color. Once again, this color pricker comes in handy. And now that's centered. Copy paste. This one, since it's already the right color, I just need to change the size, which is 270 by 238. I'm going to copy that and paste that. And now I need one that is 950 by 22 for the top. Now I'm going to do these two photos, and what I'm going to do there is I'm going to do a neat little trick that I learned is by choosing a photo out of another page. I'm going to choose this this photo here. If I click on the graphic tab. I can turn off that reflection because I don't want the reflection. And then I'm going to copy that. And I will delete this page because I don't need the page. And I will paste that. 
Now if I click Edit Mask, that brings up the mask that that photo has been masked to. And I'm just going to drag this to fit my photo box up here. Now the reason why I copied and pasted that photo out is because it's what's known as an image well. That means that any photo that I drag in there, it'll retain that. And so I can dr just drag and drop anything in there instead of having to go and resize something if I decide to change my design at a later point in time. Now I'm going to, since this is already an image well, I'm going to copy and paste. Click outside, paste. Now I got another image well, and I'm just going to go ahead and size that up for this other photo. So tabs will let you know that you're lined up with, or lines when you're lined up with another image or another line. Now I can delete this background, and now I have a pretty good uh, layout. Now I'm going to copy the images that I have in my original site. If I just click on that and copy, I can paste that. Same with the door. Paste that right in there. Now, in my original one, I have this, this kind of transparent black box. I had to create that in Photoshop. You can create it in iWeb, but it doesn't work very well in Internet Explorer. So, if you want transparency, you're going to need something like Photoshop or an image editor that will allow you to save a transparent image. I'm getting ahead of myself there. Line that up there on my edge. And I have my transparent. Now to create the navigation, all I'm doing is I'm creating a text box, typing in what I want that navigation to be. In this case, project for the first one. And to save a little bit of time, I'm just, just going to copy all these text boxes. So I mean, all, the, all that is, is a text box. It's, they're all the same size, and it's just all my text in there. So I'm going to delete this one. And then I'm going to select these guys. I'm just holding down the shift, shift key to select multiple items. I'm going to center this in my box here. Now a neat little trick if these aren't lined up right, the spacings not correct, that doesn't look very good. But if you click on each one of these, select them and come up here to arrange and go to distribute objects and vertically It'll automatically space those so those are spaced correctly. Now we're going to turn these into links. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the text, which I just double clicked on that. And then I'm going to come over here to the little circle with the arrow in it, which is the link inspector. I'm going to click on hyperlink and enable as a hyperlink. I want this to go to one of my pages. If you have multiple sites, you'll notice that you have Coyote Mark II here and then How To for YouTube, which is what we're working on now. I want this to go to one of my pages, which is the project. And I do not like the underlines personally. If you want to keep them, you can. If not, you can get rid of them. And I'm going to select white for my normal color so I can read it. And for the rollover color, I'm going to go ahead and use that picker and pick this red. Nope. Red. Close that. I'm going to go white and white. Now I'm going to click use for links on this page. Use for new links on this page. And that means that I only have to do that color thing once. Now on home, same deal. Hyperlink. Enable is a hyperlink. One of my pages. And I want this to go to homes. Details. Developer, close, and contact. And now I have navigation, and those are all rollovers. 
I'm going to copy my text, just make that look pretty, paste, now i got text, I'm going to copy my little logo, i got my logo there. Now that I got this site together, I'm going to go ahead and just copy this name. I'm going to delete this page because I was just using this as a layout so I could copy that uh, navigation over. I'm going to delete page. And now I got the project. I want to double check and make sure that it kept. Nope, it didn't because I deleted that page, so I need to change this to project. So that way that'll work. Now, since I have my layout done and I'm going to be creating similar pages to this, I can simply duplicate that page. Now that's project two, and I can call that homes and so on and so forth. So that way you keep the same page so you don't have to worry about making sure everything's lined up. Now I've done that for all these other pages just to speed this up a bit. I'm going to delete that page. So on homes, I've created these little links down here and all this is is an image that I've turned into a hyperlink by clicking the little turn into a hyperlink button and then I told it to go to a specific page, homes 2. And homes 2, basically just the description um, details once again it's basically just the same page again same with developer now photos I got this little slideshow here that you just drag photos in just like you did in the, the normal templates now how I did that is I added a new page and I just picked a photos template it doesn't work with albums for whatever reason but if I click this photos page I can actually click on this uh, this slideshow here and copy come over here to photos if I click on this I can delete this and I can just paste this and I end up with this slideshow that you can just drag your photos right in and those can be photos from your desktop or photos from the, the photo tab delete that and then in contact I've added a Google map which is in your widgets and you just drag that over. You get this big map, Apple's corporate office. And any of those little boxes you can just drag to line up to make your own little map. To change where that map is, just type in your address, click apply, and it does that. You can turn off the zoom controls or the search bar or the bubble and just have the map. In order to change how the map looks or if you want to change the zoom, you have to double click on it to interact with it. You can change that to satellite, change that to hybrid, which gives you the roads and whatever. Delete. In here, I've added an email address in here. What I've done is I just selected the text that I want to make a link, enabled as a hyperlink and then I typed in the email address that I wanted that to go to. I, I said email address or as an email message. Then I typed in the email address and the Coyote Rocket Estates is what the subject is for this particular one. Now if you wanted to add say a YouTube link to your YouTube page or whatever. There you go. There's YouTube. I got just a little social media icon here. YouTube, if I click on that, enable as a hyperlink, external page. I want this to be www.youtube.com. And I go ahead and click open a new window because if you click on that, it'll open that in a new window and if they close out of your YouTube, page they're back at your site and that's it that's a that's a pretty simple uh, how to create your own iWebsite